In this problem, we're told the sun subtends an angle of about 0.5 degrees to us on Earth, 150 million kilometers away. Estimate the radius of the sun. So I went ahead and drew what was going on here. So imagine this is the Earth, and imagine you're looking here. And so you're, the degree right here is going to be 0.5 degrees. And so you're going to be looking at the sun. This right here is the sun, right? And so what we're trying to do is find the radius of the sun. So what I drew right here is the diameter of the sun. And so we're trying to find the radius. So basically, we're trying to find half of this. And I also went ahead and labeled uh, the radius, right? So this distance right here, because you can imagine this is one big circle, right? If you imagine it like this, then this distance right here is just the radius, right? Because we're imagining this is just the center, right? So imagine like a dot in the center. And so how are we going to do this? So if we can find this piece right here, which is the diameter, we can just divide by 2 and solve for the radius. And the way we're going to solve for this is by using the arc length formula, which basically tells you L, which is the arc length, is equal to r times theta, basically the radius times the angle that it subtends, or the this angle right here, right? So 0.5. So essentially, this is the formula we're going to use. So we're just going to plug in the radius, and then plug in theta, and then we're going to be able to solve uh, for this right here, and then we can divide by 2. So let's go ahead and do that. So l is going to be equal to the radius, which is 150 million kilometers, which we can just say is 150 times 10 to the 6th kilometers. All right, so all we did was rewrite it. Uh, into scientific notation, so 150 times 10 to the sixth, and then what we're going to want to do is uh, write theta. But we know theta is 5.5 uh, degrees, but we need to be it needs to be in radians. So in order to convert it into radians, you just multiply by 2 pi over 360, right? That'll cancel the degrees, and you'll have it in radians. But 0.5 times 2 is just one, so it's really just pi over 360 radians. So pi over 360, we can just plug in. So if you go ahead and do this, 150 times 10 to the 6th, multiply by pi over 360, you're going to get 130896.939, which is essentially going to be uh, 130, right? So it's going to be, or my bad, it's going to be equal to 1.309, right? Because we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 1.309, I'm just rounding this up times 10 to the sixth, and then kilometers, right? But keep in mind what this is. This is essentially just the length, or the diameter. So we need to find the radius, and we can divide it by 2 to do that. So dividing by 2, right, because this is the diameter. So if we divide by 2, it's going to give us the radius. So go ahead and do this. Right, so just do this number, divide by 2. You'll get 654498. 654498.46. So it's, it's basically 6, 5, so I'm just going to round it up to 7. So imagine this is 7, right? And then if we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so it's going to be 7 times 10 to the 5 and then kilometers, right? Because this is in kilometers. If you want it in meters, or if your teacher wants it in meters, uh, essentially just multiply by 1,000, right? So just multiply 1,000 if your teacher wants it in meters, uh, but I'm just going to leave it in kilometers. So 7 times 10 to the 5 kilometers is... A rough estimate as to what it is this would be a more exam uh, exact answer in kilometers but yeah so essentially this right here is going to be your answer and uh, hopefully you found this useful